<laughs> I had to. I it just sounds to. so awkward on the radio, too. Like, what is this? Hey, everybody, welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. Thank you so much for joining us today. We've got so much to talk to you about. My name is Will. This is Mr. James. Hello, friends. And we have Mr. Nine. Yo. We talked to you a little bit about Pokin tournaments, uh, some uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider news, kind of, sort of. Uh, Brutal Legend, The Division, which is going to be a big one. A bunch of angry gamers uh, suing Microsoft again and like, coming back up. Anyway, yeah. we're going to talk about all of that today. So let's get into some news and stuff. Um, Pokin tournaments um, is coming out March 18th. Yep. Um, this is the same game that they released these arcade machines in, over in Japan. in Japan, and they weren't doing so well, so they pulled them because they were just kind of bombing, but you that's okay. Really well. not, but Americans will buy it. I'm not too discouraged about that because <laughs> I think they yeah. can still make the console game. I just better. don't think it was built for the arcade is yeah. what yeah. happened there. And that can turn into like a Street Fighter phenomenon. Right. It's thing. not Tekken or Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. So. But, um, I mean... James, tell us a little about Pokin Tournament. What do you know about this thing? Uh, I know that uh, I know a few of the characters that they've released, like that. I know there's Machomp, there's uh, Garchomp. These names all sound eerily familiar, but they're not the same. Garchomp is a dragon type ground. This isn't Pokemon. like this Morty thing that you guys were telling me about the other day, was it? No, that's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, I don't know why they're going with the name Pokin Tournament. Pokemon the work better. Isn't it people that made Tekken making this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. That's that makes why. sense. Pokemon Tekken. There you go. That's hilarious. Uh, and they just they, <laughs> they, they 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 basically use like Pokemon's in in game moves and turn them into fighting game moves like uh, Sand Tomb, and. Uh, Sand attack, all that kind of stuff. Is this is this like a? I mean, you've seen the gameplay. Is it like a, two D fighting type of a game? Yeah. It yeah. Is. It looks like um, like a Tekken. It's like two D. Yeah. It looks like Tekken. It looks a lot like Tekken. Now that you said that, that total, it all makes I mean, sense. In yeah. my head, for a second, it's I all had coming together. Smash Brothers meets all of Pokemon characters. Not at all. No. That would be awesome, but no, it's not that <laughs> I mean, at all. It's one on one. That kind of thing. I'm uh, not big into Pokemon. They're so releasing. They're they're calling it a new Pokemon, but. It's like Shadow Mewtwo. Yeah. That doesn't sound like a new Pokemon to me. That sounds like you it's like dark put pit. Shadow on it. Yeah. 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 Dark Link. Dark yeah. Link. <laughs> uh, yeah. well, what's the uh, Link Elda or whatever? Linkable. Linkala. 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 So. I don't know. Linkle. Linkle. It's just Linkle. <laughs> Linkle. The female Link. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah, that's about it. Well, we'll see what happens with that game. Hopefully, it's fun. Obviously. And hopefully, it translates well to consoles. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be curious to see. Yeah, if, I think like, it'll do better on consoles than it did in the arcade. And and uh, I've always I've always wanted the idea of that, like a faster paced Pokemon game. You know, instead of like doing the old turn based yeah. style. The thing that is great other. about Pokemon is like a lot of people that even if you don't like it, you can get into some of the games. If you start playing them, most people kind of get into it one way or the other. So we'll see if the general audience of Pokemon games like pick this thing up. I mean, if they want. I, I still yeah. want like a Skyrim open world based Pokemon game. I mean, that'd, that'd be crazy. Be yeah. I could probably great. get behind an open world Pokemon game. Fun stuff for the future. There you go. Take yeah. our ideas. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Okay, so Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, the director is leaving Crystal Dynamics and going to join Infinity Ward. Yep. Is this a big deal? Uh, well, he's Brian Horton is leaving as the director of Tomb Raider to be the art director over at Infinity Ward. So that makes me wonder if they're going to change their art style for their next project. Like hmm. make it more of a third-person action game. Sure. Because Infinity Ward's dabbled in that a few times before with uh, Call of Duty. They had those third-person modes in Modern Warfare 2 and 3, I think. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. So uh, I'm interested to see if that's their interest or if they're just looking for a fresh take on a new IP for Call of Duty. Has mm -hmm. Infinity Ward done, they've done <coughs> other games other than Call of Duty, right? Or have they? I'm sure they have. I wouldn't know what they were because they probably Is weren't that, very I'd have to look that up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure <laughs> That's either. all I've ever heard of them. I know that um, well, when responsible for Modern Warfare, Warfare and that blew Call of Duty up. It, it, yep. it was insane. Yeah, Modern, Modern Warfare 2 is my first Call of Duty. And I, multiplayer experience, like, it was awesome. When, when Modern Warfare dropped, mm -hmm. it was, yeah, it, nobody, there was nothing else out like yeah. it. Nobody was playing anything like it. It just started this huge thing. <laughs> I remember the M16 was God <laughs> at that point. shooter on consoles. Yeah. That's, that's really why it blew up. Um, 
both great companies, by the way, so it'll be interesting to see, but, you know, obviously it's the people that make the company, so we'll see how yeah. this affects uh, I think Infinity it'd be Wars fun games. to see an, uh, an art change. That'd be cool. Yeah, and especially if he's going to be working on, uh, you know, a Call of Duty project. Mm -hmm. I mean, for, uh, we assume it's a Call of Duty project because right. it's, in fact, uh, right. Infinity War. Sure. I mean, maybe this, is, maybe this is their big branch out, though. That'd be cool. <sighs> Self-shading. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You never know. Um, I'd play a soul shaded Call of Duty. Why not? Borderlands. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. <laughs> By the way, we're talking about some news. You're watching and listening to Press Start TV. Talking I'm Will. This is James. Uh -huh. This is nine. Yeah. Uh, Brutal Legend uh, is going to become backwards compatible <laughs> on the Xbox One. Um, I, I'm a. I just say do another Brutal Legend. I'm kind of. I'd rather see another Brutal Legend. Yeah. Good game. You can expand yeah. out with but the I think, music. I think. Tim Schafer wants to do it because of Lemmy. Yeah, that's what yeah, I was going to say. And just For Lemmy. Because they'll never be able to get him to do the voice again, right. obviously. And, you know, all these artists passing away lately. David Bowie. David Alan Bowie, Rickman. man. Lemmy. Alan Rickman passed away. Alan Rickman. That was, a, what man. That was a shock. Like, it I was. did not expect that at I didn't. all. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, Alan Rickman was Severus Snake in the Harry Potter films. Yeah. Well, he was the, several uh, other things. The voice yeah. of God in Dogma. That was my he, first he, Alan Rickman. He's been on a ton yeah. of different movies, yeah. I liked him as the uh, the depressed robot in... Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Guy, yeah. Marvin. Yeah. Marvin. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, and if you, if I read the books, and that was by far my favorite character, and he did so well. Oh, he was voicing, perfect. He brought it to life. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. Um, yep. uh, and really quick. Oh, um, also that yeah. the game. I don't remember what the name of the game Omicron. is. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. for free right now. The, the, the game David Bowie soundtrack game, Omicron Boom. Force of Souls, or something like that. Awesome. So if you're a Bowie free fan, go download that. All right. Well, when we get back, we'll be talking about the division, and it's going to be great. Right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, we're gonna talk about The Division, but really quick, I had one of the note, uh, Bayonetta 2 for the Wii U is going to be released by itself for $30 on February 19th. So if you wanted to pick that game up and you didn't want to pay the $60, which had Bayonetta 1 packaged with it, you can pick that game and up And all the for, extra outfits. And it, it, it is a great game, uh, by the way. I believe it. It is good stuff. I like the first one a lot. First one's good, this one's even better in my opinion. Anyway, uh, the division uh, seems to be a lot, you know, uh, in the in the headlines about this game um, recently. It's uh, been in development for a long time. Um, they're slowly releasing gameplay trailers and what we can expect from the title. <laughs> some leak, some release. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. mean, for a lot of, long time, people were like, "What is this game about? What can you do? Is it a first-person shooter? What is, What do we got going I was on?" Immediately here? intrigued when they announced it. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it Same. looked so yeah. good. So. So some of the stuff, um, I, I don't know exactly what this means, but there's no Brooklyn map at launch. No, Brooklyn, Queens, or Staten Island, part of the map. It's all Manhattan. At launch, but then I guess those are coming later. That could are be, they going to be priced, though, or are they going to be free? That's my it, question. That's, the, that's, mm -hmm. that's what's up in the air right now. Yeah. Is it going to be part of a free update? like Guild Wars does, right. mm -hmm. or is it going to be more like the WoW thing and they add new regions with new DLC, which cost money? they get a lot more respect out of me if they did the, personally, they, if they did, did the say, free. Because they said all of New York. They well, did say right. that they will have free content on a regular basis, Yeah, but they will also have paid DLC on a regular basis. Also, so it's up in the air what exactly is happening with the map as a whole. As far as microtransactions go, they, they said that there will be no pay to play, uh, pay to win stuff, uh, just vanity options. Right. Uh, that's just the cool. way to we've, do it. Yeah, as we've talked about before, that's acceptable by us. Uh, also, that they, uh, slide. they I opted. Don't like it. <laughs> They, I, I wish it was just I could do free vanity items. That'd be great. Uh, also, that they opted not to do uh, a paid level thing, which I like too. I never really liked that a lot. You right. know, the whole thing that Destiny did as well, like pay, pay to a certain amount, and then you get to end game. Yeah. So they're they're not going to do that, which I like. Uh, yeah. what, what was it like? Destiny when the Taken King came out. Yeah. People who jumping into it right with the Taken King, they could buy the twenty five levels. Right out of the oh, gate. Oh, so right. They didn't to have level to up their character. To level 25. Yeah. Right. It's, I, I, and WoW did it with the light, last release, um, Legends or whatever it's called. Well, they gave you a, a token you could use, but they only got it for like a limited time. So now if you get right. it, you actually well, you have to. you can still to, buy it. Oh, you can buy you that. Can buy yeah. It. Oh, That's okay. the thing, yeah. And I, I've always kind of hated that because when I played WoW, you saw a lot of 
players do that, and everybody that bought their way up sucked because they didn't know what they were doing. Right. You know, they didn't that, take the time to learn the, the character. The journey, you the slowly moves. get your skills. Like, and, and I see from everything I've seen in the division, there's a lot of different abilities. Yep. There's a lot of. This is the way I would handle something like that, especially in Destiny. Is if you get someone that gets you into the game, mm. um, then those players are probably going to be a lot higher than you, right? But you can still kind of hang with them, so you can build their, your character faster that way. Uh, but City if you don't have any heroes, friends, didn't they do that? Something like that. I'm just a side kick option. You, you're going to be competing against enemies that are a lot higher ranked, therefore their drops will be higher, therefore your character right. will be higher. Yeah. I've seen a faster. few games do that where basically like say, you know, I'm really high level, I get you into the game, you can essentially like yeah. hang out with me and be with me yeah. whenever you're near me, you gain increased experience, um, you get like a portion of my statistics. Yeah, because Bungie wants See. people playing their game, right? So that's that's the way to do it. Yeah. But if you just didn't have that mm -hmm. and you just got into it by yourself, right? Yeah, I don't know how the recipe works there. I like, for I like the way Final Fantasy did it with Eleven after about the third or fourth expansion that they released. Uh -huh. You could party up with somebody who was at the level cap, but their level would drop down to yours, but they'd still be able to do all their high-level stuff. I like that, yeah. You'd still get the experience points, but they wouldn't. Yeah. So you could still party together and you could still do stuff, but their level and damage and stuff was on the same level as yours. What's cool about that is... Your experience wasn't affected because they were level 75 or 100 or whatever it is. And that way they're not dealing with higher people than you and right. also... You can kind of guide them too. Like I, I'm a person. I love making alts. Yeah. Sherpa the hell out of it. Uh, yeah. By the way, you're watching. Listen to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is James. Eight. And we're talking about uh, the division, kind of. Um, <laughs> kind of. So, <laughs> going off topic. So Nine, uh, tell us a little bit more about this game that people might not know about. Yeah. So uh, the level cap is 30, which is kind of public knowledge now. Um, yeah. But the game changes drastically when you hit level 30. So the dark zone completely resets when you hit level 30. Is this like dying light at night where it just turns no, in? Okay. No, this is something totally different. Okay. So Destiny has its end game stuff. Yeah. But it's all the same end game content. Right. Like it's all the same missions that were there when you were level 28, level 29, level 27, whatever. Right. This takes level 30 and resets the entire dark zone to level 30 content only. Hmm. So you have to be level 30 to partake in this content. Mm, if cool. you have a group with, if you have somebody in your group that's not level 30, you can't do that content. It's strictly level 30 content, which is really, really cool. That sounds neat. There's new missions, there's new PVP areas, they reset locations on stuff, there's higher level gear to get. It's really, really deep what they did with the level 30 cap. Hmm. I like that because, you know, listen, if this game <coughs> is great and well made, people will play it, well, obviously. but. If you've got the atm I'm to, to the point you're just making, if you've got the atmosphere and, and the environment and the characters that pe you're actually enjoying and playing, yeah. right. then give those people a reason to stay with your game, not not just go through it, be done with it, and move on. To the next no, game. Here's the reason they, they came out and said they did it. They, they they know people do the same things over and over in these areas repeatedly. They didn't want them to come back at level 30 and be like, oh, i got to do the same level 25 mission over again right. to yeah. get this stuff. No, they wanted to give people a fresh take on level 30 when they get to the end game stuff. So it's still the same areas, but your stuff is different now. Yeah. Like yeah. the whole area is totally different. I kind of like that feel. Um, like Destiny does a little bit of that. Like areas that were isolated before, now with the new content you can actually go into because there's story-based right. stuff there, mm -hmm. so forth and so on. I mean, but I think it could be taken a step further and hopefully that's what this game is going to do. Yeah. Um, <coughs> by the way, if you want to check out the beta, I think the beta launches on January 28th. So that is coming up just in a few days if you're just watching this the day we release this video. Um, so check that out. Um, we look forward to checking out that game as soon as it comes out. So we'll have more coverage on the division uh, very soon. And we'll be back right after this. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. And we just got done talking about The Division. Uh, it's going to be great. Can't wait for that game. Um, and as promised, we we're going to talk to you a little bit about uh, the Supreme Court, Microsoft things, some Fallout news, um, and that kind of thing. Again, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is James. Oh, hi. <laughs> this is nine. Yo. Uh, I didn't know it had to be audible. <laughs> yeah. well, the people on radio can't see you. Uh, there people, you man. go. For the people. Sorry, um, guys. <laughs> sound like Eeyore, man. Uh, uh, I got my rain cloud. <laughs> All right. So apparently there's an issue that 
was brought up to Microsoft and went to court. Um, uh, it was an issue with games uh, games being scratched from the 360. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. 360. And, and you kind of got talking about thrown <laughs> out, right? And now it's being brought back up. Yeah, well, it was like uh, it was in lower the lower courts and everything, and they threw it out because they said that there weren't enough like personal complaints, complaints on the issue. Um, and Microsoft is going as far to claim that only 0.4 of its users have experienced this scratch. I had it happen to me multiple I know times. A lot of people yeah. have had it happen. Listen, I I've been in the video games for a long time, and I've never seen so many scratch discs oh, from a console. Right. From well, I take that back. Um, maybe on the PS2, but that's only because the PS2. I never had a single scratch. Had well, the PS2. The PS2 <laughs> that was my own fault. Had so <laughs> yeah. many people buy the console, and it has over ten thousand titles. So more people more things can go wrong. I guess. But if I, I got a feeling though, I'm assuming this is the laser ring issue, right? Is this Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 0, 0.4 is staggeringly low. Yeah. Yeah. From what I've seen in my own life. Of, just among, about everybody I've ever talked to has had that problem. Now Microsoft, we love you obviously, but the the Xbox One does not have these problems. PS4 does not have these problems. PS3 no. really didn't have these problems. The drives are a lot better now. Well, 360 I, I, was the first of like you know last gen that launched. Um, the first one to the gate. Yeah. But still, you know, um, I don't know if it really got fixed even with the other models. Maybe it did. It probably did. Uh, it, it was lessened. It was a little better. Models. Yeah, it could, it could stay. You still in had because they used the same trays as all the other models they just yeah. changed out the drive that it went into so yeah. from my knowledge the the easiest way to get a laser ring is if you bump your console or yeah. do anything like that yeah. Breathe it, on it, wrong. It, it, yeah. <laughs> it basically wobbles that disc in there and once it wobbles and puts the disc closer <laughs> to the laser you hear the most god awful it, it, <laughs> it was like oh no <laughs> and then your game just doesn't work every yeah. it does not work you have it, to it cannot so be repaired microsoft's argument on the point for the first reason the first reason it got thrown out was the whole you know, they said there weren't enough complaints. Then, you know, people came back and were like, oh, we have complaints. Uh, so Microsoft's main platform is that any, any scratch disk came from not using their console properly, basically going against the guidelines. And as you said, like barely breathing on it could happen. Now I understand in a lot of instances, in, in my first instance of it, mom was cleaning the house and like, you know, I'm playing video games or something. She just goes to move the console because she's used to PS2 and all that stuff. She could move it while I was playing and nope. And she's like, oh my God, what is that? Is it the Decepticon? I don't know. Uh, so anyway, this case is being brought back up and now the Supreme Court is going to hear it. Yeah. And, I, and I, I think that if the people win or whoever's... The people. Yeah, the people win. Whatever, Whatever's going on with that, it's supposed to be like reimbursement for people that have had that happen to them. Oh, wow. I, I don't know how that would go about. Like, am I going to get money back from my years of war? X number of dollars yeah. that they have to pay back and anybody that makes a claim on it gets... The more people make a claim, the less money you'll get. So I need to go Because AT&T just had something like that last summer. Um, Samsung's had stuff like this. Yes. LG, Toshiba, all your major product well, manufacturers have been through this nonsense. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll keep you posted on the outcome of that. If uh, as soon as we hear any news, we'll let you know. Uh, moving on to some Fallout 4 news. A lot of you are still playing this amazingly awesome game and building your settlements and doing all that kind of stuff. I'm in the middle of doing all that right now. But apparently there's a new update getting ready to come out that makes your settlements even better. Uh, there's a new patch, so I don't know if they're giving you more stuff to do or whatever it is. So look out for that. Yep. But this kind of got my, my attention. Um, there was a 20, somebody took the time to build a 20,000 yeah. uh, synth army um, oh, yeah. so, of soldiers to march on the Commonwealth. What was that about? I, I didn't this see guy on YouTube has taken to fall out as his virtual playground of yeah. armies. He has done 10 Liberty Primes versus a thousand Death Claws. I saw that one. I mean, that is this like a mod or something? something? Yeah, it's, oh, he, he, okay. he goes into it and he you just... can't actually do this. No, no, no. Okay. This you is on PC, right? This is only PC. He yeah. uses okay. console commands what to spawn in. What system is he running to, to he, power he all those all robots? These enemies. <laughs> he did a thousand Brotherhood soldiers versus 500 Death Claws. How come not so good? What happened? Yeah. The Brotherhood lost. Oh, yeah. like, wow. Really bad. Yeah. Liberty Prime, though, they're all 10 Liberty Primes were still standing after all 1,000 Death Claws. Yeah. Gone. That was an awesome fight. Um, 
he did like an entire army of Brotherhood versus an entire army of uh, Minutemen. He's done a lot of these things. <laughs> Fun. They that get that a probably lot didn't go well either for the Minutemen. Because it's so think. interesting. Because he changes the location he does all these in too. So every time he does a new battle, he takes it to a different location. Yeah. So it's really, really cool to see these things in video form. Yeah, I think yeah. that this most recent one was, I think, the most demanding one yet. Well, it's sure, 20,000. Yeah. 20,000. So oh. that's, that's the first thing I saw when I saw the article, though. I was just like, like, my computer would just shoot that's itself. Like, <laughs> you know? It's just put that like, into scale. Nope. That's like the size of the battle of. Um, What's the movie? Uh, Lord of the Rings, the third movie. Uh, two Towers? No, not the Two Towers, the third the, one. Return, Return, of the King. Return of the King. Return of the King. The battle of that final battle where yeah. the, where Ganondorf, or Ganon's, Ganondorf. Ganondorf. Yeah. Ganondorf, is Ganondorf brings his army over the side, and you got the elves and the pirates and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's like that size of people Dude, battling it You out. should totally watch that Lord of the Rings movie with Ganondorf in it. <laughs> yeah. It's <Ganondorf>. awesome. That's <laughs> great. And the pirates from SpongeBob. <laughs> Ganondorf the purple. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, by the way, your number one selling game of 2015 was... Black Ops 3. Black, Black Ops 3, <laughs> indeed. Uh, all right, Shocker. that's all the time we it have for you today. Thank you so that. much for joining <laughs> us. Uh, you can check out all of our content on PressStartTV.com. Until next time, we'll see you later. Later, guys.